Uh, and Ms. Rosalind Biswal, Vice President Data Analytics at Pi Square, to share some lights on this subject. Over to you, Mr. Pradhan and Rosalind. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Hi, everyone. Very good morning. Thanks for joining this webinar. Oh, um, so what we're going to do today is, um, you know, walk through the third of this series, uh, which is going to talk about uh, how do we uh, deploy predictive analytics in an organization, uh, especially in the context of HR, and uh, how do we ensure that this is in a sustainable, sustainable mode and frame. So uh, what we have is um, a combination of slides and a few um, examples and a small demo that we would like to show so that we are able to transfer these um, elements out to you. Um, the intent that we have is obviously to, uh, you know, insights, um, insight a thought process and discussion and lay out a kind of a road plan for you to uh, go back and think of how do you um, you know, take analytics and uh, not do it as a one-time process, but lay out a complete roadmap, right? And and there are certain challenges that we will talk about and how we will be handling them throughout the whole course of this discussion, right? So that's what we will be focusing um, do, doing this next uh, couple of hours. Um, you know, when we are talking about uh, HR analytics, um, you know, there is there are or analytics in general. Understand that. Many times in organizations, um, we have been doing um, uh, some level of uh, data analysis or quantitative reporting from a very long time, right? And where analytics becomes a differentiator and a difference is when you start integrating this analysis into a structured strategic link uh, and uh, have it available on a continuous basis to take actions and decisions. So, anyway, so, so basically to, um, you know, uh, summarize that concept, it becomes that you start building uh, capability of predictive analytics and uh, advanced analytics in the organization so that you are on a mode of continuous uh, action that you are taking and uh, uh, you are able to take it for a uh, look at it. I'm sorry, I see a couple of hands being raised. Uh, is everything fine? Okay, I'm just going to go to continue on. So, uh, you know, one of the uh, things and, and one of our experiences has been that um, when analytics started has become big today, a lot of us are surprised because a lot of analysis, a lot of statistical analysis has been part of businesses from a very long time. And, and this is not something, um, oh, as, as far as statistical analysis was uh, concerned, it was not something which is uh, very new. So where, where is it that the differences come in? Uh, the differences come in from a perspective that now technology plays a much bigger role. And um, it lays a framework for a long-term sustainable element. Now, one of the uh, differences also in analytics, which I would like to focus upon a lit, uh, little bit more, is analytics is not about doing an analysis on a one uh, you know, point of time um, and, and taking a set of data and identifying some results out of it. It is more of building a capability around it, right? And here, there are multiple components which are uh, stitched together to give it a sustainable framework, like any improvement or transformation program that we in HR have been taking up, right? So in HR, we are very familiar with large scale change management and transformation programs. And, and that's this is, is something which is um, very similar to it. It doesn't talk, it, it, here the aspect that comes in from a uh, transformation and technology perspective is the technology perspective that gets embedded and integrated. But otherwise, this is itself a large change management and transformation program. So here you also need people to be there, the rightly available people who can produce the analytics, people who can consume it, use it, right? And that mass has to be a critical so that it goes beyond that tipping point where you know you are no more pushing it but it becomes a pull you need a right set of processes which have to come in um, you know a lot of our uh, 
uh, engagement in this uh, field has been with data which is very sensitive and we in HR are, are well familiar with the sensitivity of data that we deal with. So it's not only sensitive data, it is also uh, crucial data from an organization perspective that we have to deal with and hence you know the right set of processes about how to deal with sensitive data what kind of data can be shared a lot of the need here in analytics would be to look at partners who can take you off the ground for, for uh, you know quickly um, so what kind of data can be shared what kind of capabilities have to be completely in uh, in house and inbuilt are questions that a process layer also has to answer um, technology plays an extremely critical role in analytics you know it's 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 basically the the backbone of the whole uh, program that that will be built up right you're talking about massive amounts of data data in different systems being uh, stitched together to give you a consolidated view uh, predictive algorithms um, and in many cases predictive algorithms or data mining algorithms running on the uh, on the web servers so that you have a availability of predictions on a web-based platform or on a mobile platform so you know technology is going to be one of the most crucial aspects what kind of technology layers are existing in the organization what kind of enhancements have to be brought in from that perspective as well as uh, talking about uh, how do you represent uh, the output in what kind of a technology frame would everything be converted to a web-based application is there a need for certain desktop applications is there a need for certain web mobile based apps Right? How how is the suitability of them? How do we partner with the IT teams to bring a co uh, you know cohesive and a collaborative environment from this perspective? So technology becomes a, a very key component of this. Um, obviously, there is data, and and data today, uh, given that uh, with with the number of applications or excels or the needs of management, I think this is one part which is available in many forms and in plentiful amount. I mean, it could be cap. Um, it could be in structured forms like uh, Excel sheets, databases, um, or it could be very unstructured like uh, uh, comments of employees, like uh, like uh, you know um, uh, recordings of interviews or, or, or images. Um, it could be very unstructured, but they're all they they are they they are uh, they are as footprints of a process. Do have we thought of uh, uh, you know collecting them all? Um, are we? How, how are we going to collect them all? How are we going to aggregate them? How are we going to put a layer of, uh, you know, how to sensitivity around it from a process perspective as well as, um, you know, ensure that it is available to the right people. So, you know, you're building with a lot of dynamics and changing pieces of a jigsaw, if I can call it that way. Right? 